Welcome back to Eat the Race. This is week 117, day 6. Defense results, we got two losses, so we lost all 90 points that we can lose. But let's take a look. Alright, so... Is this like a thing, like, this is like the third time in Bolt of Heaven that I have seen a Henry on a team. And seriously, like, you never seen, I never saw Henry before this, and this is like last Bolt of Heaven light season. We run into two of them, and here's yet another one. So, is this like a thing people start using now? They also have this plus 10 norm with uh, Spendthrift Ball, Close Foil, All Attack, Pulse Mode. Plus two Mela with double fortress death rest. This plus one plus two peony wings of mercy and aerobatics and ninja lin uh, double switch sparrow. So yeah, nin and this uncrap ninja lin is pretty common to see, but seriously, what's with all these handles? So here they decided against pulling off from the star. And they're using Ninja Lin's Disarm Trap to safely maneuver because they're, well, they're going after uh, Mikaya. Go for it! Because Mikaya still hits pretty hard. You're finished. So there's that. Self dance. I'm not sure I can. Courage, Lorena. And back away. And then said uh, Henry to tank Sothos. Which minus 15 attack, minus 9 res. I mean, especially that minus 15 attack does do a number on us. Obviously, we're gonna get dance and we actually do less damage. It's not like we have a solo skill active or anything like that, but. And yeah, we're not going to be able to take an Ignis, oh, so. Hurt. Pretty close though, 61 to 63, I mean. And here, they just set the ninja lean loose. Accept your punishment. Yeah, ninja lean is a really powerful unit, so. And of course, they come with a dual indulgence. So they can use her self dance it. twice. Prepare yourself. And not have to waste a peony because they're gonna use it right here. Yeah. And now it's known on the attack. Now Norn has yeah. the speed, but she definitely takes a lot more damage from Sotis. Unfortunately, she does have pulse mode, so this does hurt us a lot. And it's basically the only lead reason why they are able to tank us. Yeah. Now we still outspeed her. I did the math. We outspeed her, just we don't outspeed her enough to double her. Lynn, you're a wonder. And yeah, brave weapons are really kind of like the bane of my teams. Brave weapons really do number on my teams, so. And this one. Which, another brave weapon user, this time is Leaf. And this is a close counter advantage, a plus 10, plus 9, so. Yeah, he hits super hard with attack dev solo. Air, plus 7, plus 8. Gloria, who is partnered with Leaf for that minus two cooldown, which is why he's not, he already has it at one and doesn't need to run a um, uh, milk, not milk, uh, S drink. Uh, this is pretty much basic. She's only here for that minus three cooldown, two cooldown. Peony and Mila. Now they just gamble a trap right there. Oh. 
and they're just set up. I actually don't know why they smite it. There really was no point to it. I guess they just wanted to test to see how much damage he would do. And because Mikaya is Cap Slave with a hardy bearing, she's kind of like the most dangerous thing they had. Uh, we had in our team. And Sarah would be in a uh, Razzle Dazzle unit. They needed to take that two other things that are gonna make sure that he's able to vantage sweep. Because Brahmon did many things, but being able to take two hits from Leaf is not one. And while Sotis would kill him, is again brave weapons are really the bane of my team. Like with serious, she would just kill him, but she would have to be able to take 62 damage, and she just doesn't have the speed, the HP for it. And that's it with Sotis and uh, Mikaya down. Those are my only two hardy bearing units. I guess that's what they tested the trap originally, just to have a Wings of Mercy uh, focus point. Now here, it could have backfired for them, because Eldegan does hit pretty hard. But here they just run away so they can leave leaf takeover. And like I said, Eldegan is set up to be anti-magic, not anti uh leaf. Alright, but let's go on today's match. Alright, we have a Brahmi plus one. Ooh, Mr. Atrocity himself. Heavy Blade for uh, one turn Glimmer, I guess. Sturdy Impact does. Bug. Alright, so let's see. 61, 64, 66, 50. So we know that Brandmon is the one that has... Uh, is going to have Bonus Doubler. But he really doesn't have a way to get buffs other than Elliewood with uh, Vision of Sorcadia. So he will have a plus attack and speed, but he'll also be Panic, Deandra, Azura. So I think the best plan for this would be to bait from this end, like over here. If we can shut down Tiandra, we can kill Azura. Forcing all three of these units to attack. And we can do that with uh, Leon and Valoria. Valoria can handle Eliwood. Leon can handle Dimitri. And Corin will be the problem to leave for last. So who can take on Corin on that team? Mm, Valoria has 40, 46 basically 52 speed while well, Corin has 44 49 mm, yeah Beloria should be able to handle her as long as I don't take too much damage because I can enemy face her like she'll hit me without negative without the boosted damage then she'll proc negating fang to lower the damage and then I'll hit her again and she'll be able to kill her. Because another team that we could use would be this one, but... And it will basically be the same thing. Kill you, tank the two of you. Though how do we kill Brahmi when it's the thing? One, two, three here I 
And if we use Fjorm, Tiandra will hurt. But if we can take one hit from Tiandra, we can just one shot everything. I think we can even sh one shot Brahmimon. 75, 83. Can we do 83 damage in one hit? 55. Fifty-five plus six, and then Mumbo. Mm, I don't know. I think I'll just go with Leon. We'll just go with the Leon, Leon Beloria. And if we can attack from this spot, I guess. No, I want to be careful of this because. From here, I'm safe because one, two, break, one, two, three. I guess you can attack here, but from here, I should be safe. So let's break all the bad stuff. Okay, ready. Mm, why can I bait from here though? One, two, this is the one spot that you can attack. I guess, yeah, safe. here would be the safest place because one of you two should break this to allow Brahmimon to come over. Tear them to shreds. Mm, maybe this way. What now? Gloria. Alright, and guess yes, you could Curse. try to come out this way. It will be done. Alright, there goes Tiandra. She doesn't hit very hard. The time has come. One of those two should break the breakable wall. Or not, I guess you were the one that decided to break it. Alright, we can finish you off. Turn three, so you'll have one, two, three movement space. I wanted to go here, but then that will leave me in range of you. All right, so we're just gonna kill Elliwood. Good morning. Keep up. The time has come. You are gonna continue to follow air, so you're gonna break this next turn. Back to work. What now? And while Beloria can kill Brahmimon in one hit of combat, okay. I guess it's fine. She should heal enough. She has no follow-up, so I bestow my blessing. And from here, we'll just leave air over there. I guess I should let her transform. Almost nap time. Yeah. Definitely should let her transform. Turn four. Death's caress. 
you don't have uh, your whatchamacallit this turn. Alright, so Beloria should be able to kill what you. Now? 52. 55. Okay. Mm. Back to work. Like this. What so now? let's just heal for now then. We're gonna party. need a heal. <laughs> Tear them to shreds. All right. Guess we didn't need to. We didn't need air to do anything. It will be done. All right. Now we do need tra uh, get Beloria to transform. Keep up. Okay. Ready. What now? I bestow my blessing. The glimmer of life. Yes. All right, so how do we do this? We need to Back get the ether. What now? All right, I can move her here, dance her with... Uh, Good morning. Peony, so she can break this, move air out of the way, and move Leon one up so she has her solo speed. Okay. All right, so let's do that. Right here. It will be done. Give her more. Ready. What now? Tear them to shreds. Put Leon over here. Death's caress. You don't have anything right. Just making the sure. Of life. All of a sudden, she couldn't move the extra space. Uh. So yeah, like I said, she'll get the damage reduction on the Let's first hit. Party. <laughs> but we'll get the second hit. All right, cool. I, I am enjoying this Leon Beloria team though. Guess he was able to do a little more damage than I thought he would be. Alright, so we're tier 36. And we still have two days to go. Well, not two days to go, two matches to go. Unfortunately, we lose 90 points on defense, so once again, we don't get top defense. But, uh, let's see. Not rank. Uh, they are tier. We are, what? 6, 26, 120, mm, 126 from tier 37, so 526. To reach tier 38, one battle gives us 394, so we should do it. We should make tier 38 tomorrow, counted we win both matches. And this week we have been a little luckier because we have not spent a single ladder. Much better than last time uh, on the Bolt of Heaven, I will say. <clears throat> For summoning, uh, we do have this we can summon on. And of course, we have time for this one. We are going to do that big summon. Uh, we're going to do a summoning for this, I guess. I uh, kind of want both of these two. Since I don't have either one of them. I already have... Duo Efren and again plus 10 Sotis, so she's not as necessary for me anymore. Unless I want to go for a second plus 10 Sotis. 
but right now I don't need a second one. I mean, <clears throat> aside from using her in ether raids, like for my defensive team, and people really, really think that she is a bad unit, but I use her a lot of uh, as part of my arena core. Uh, because guess what? In arena, she is way better because she can. Uh, one of her biggest problems to me is her low HP. I've been called back. But if I put her with mythics, I mean with legendary units that can provide her HP, then she just destroys everything in uh, arena. Nothing is fast enough to catch up to her. Uh, which is why I still run her with Hardy Baron in arena. And as long as I got good coverage for her against uh, bulky blue units, namely Brave Hector. Uh, Chrom can just take care of him with Guntra. Or, you know, Corrin. So I do. Uh, I don't play really high level arena just because I don't really care for it so much, but every Lice is on Sotis is on my team just because she is a lot better unit than people like give her credit for. Uh, but yeah, but that's it. Um, Oh yeah, one of the last things I did want to uh, mention was since it's already over, like boarding is over, I wanted to show you who I bought it for A Hero Rises. So these are the seven units I bought it for. I bought it for Freya, uh, Legendary Dimitri, Duo Lin, Duo Laltina, Duo Peony, Duo Sigur, and Duo Mikaya. Just because I think that Duo units are extremely powerful. Uh, all of these five ones have a really good uh, role that they play in AR. Um, Lin, well, you just saw her. Uh, Duo Sigur being the only cavalry dancer in the game makes him very powerful in cab lines, being able to reach your cavalry to be able to dance him is extremely useful. Uh, Duo Peony with her ability to dance twice. Duo Latina, we've seen her plenty of times just destroy things like it's not tomorrow. And Mikaya with uh, Dominance, which is still unique to her. There is no nothing like Dominance in the game aside from Duo Mikaya. And of course, um, Dimitri and Freya, both combat-based units, uh, both units I don't have, so that's part of why I voted for him. Um, but also Freya, uh, on Freya bonus weeks, um, you kind of need to have Freya for those. And Dimitri is still a pretty good unit. Like, he really hits really hard if you let him hit you, so... Yeah, these are what, this is why I voted for D7. Uh, let me know who you actually voted for as well. Uh, just so we know who's gonna go for, uh, what kind of units we could end up getting in the boarding gauntlet, which will be a really good boarding gauntlet regardless of who's there. Even if somehow, uh, Brave Edelgar manages to stay in, yes, she's still a good unit. It's like, it's just that she's a little easier to obtain than all of the other ones, and that's why people kind of like dogpile on her, but... She's still a good unit. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is pretty much it. So I thank you all for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.